Hi, I'm Sean Liu, Chief Product Officer at Marina Chain, and today I'm excited to share with you how we're helping the logistics value chain. This includes shipping, ports and terminals, and delivery companies meet their emissions targets and meet net zero ambitions. And so at Marina Chain, we work with teams who have these specific and unique problems. The first problem is that of carbon regulation. If you're a Korean company, you're aware that one of Korea's current regulation requires companies to have three years worth of carbon data and ESG data. And we help them solve that. We also work with shipping companies who are now dealing with new regulations from the shipping industry, and this is a big challenge for them. We solve that for you. The second problem that we solve for teams is that of climate financing, where increasingly banks and even governments are asking for some form of carbon data or carbon targets to issue a sustainability linked loans. And the last requirement, the last problem we solve for companies is that of increasingly companies like IKEA asking for some form of carbon emission or carbon data in order to do business today. And what that means is that to do business today, accurate emissions are needed. And so we help companies, whether you're small, medium or large, in three distinct ways. Where the first way is that of data pipelines. Where if you're a large enterprise, we have done many such deals in helping you connect various systems together and turning all these systems into carbon data. Or if you need a boutique solution, we are able to handle that for you. Or if you're a small or medium enterprise, you can adopt our carbon accounting software and get ready to do carbon inventory. Or the second way we then help you is that we turn all these custom data pipelines and carbon data into solving your key problem, which is that of meeting regulations and meeting current standards out there. And so if you have issues dealing with EU ETS, KETS, or other forms of ESG reporting, such as TCFD, which is used by your finance department, we deal it here. And the last way is, the, is that with all this wealth of data, we turn this data into insights where you can go down into the details and find out which particular operations or which ship can help you optimize and reduce that emissions to meet net zero. And so our proudest development thus far is what we call our MarinaNet platform, where it's powered by AI and we've proven to speed up the time for you to meet compliance and get carbon data by up to 10 times. And where you are missing any form of carbon data, our Parse AI allows us to fill in the blanks with up to 95% accuracy. And working with enterprises for so long, we know that there are many forms of data that you may have in your systems, and we deal with all of them. Whether it's an email, whether it's many ERP systems or safety systems, or whether you're still working with physical hard copy data, like photos or receipts, fewer receipts, or in shipping, bunkering reports, we deal with all that. And we build a very impressive conversational layer to interact with this data to help you understand the process. And Parse AI is our second deep tech layer, which I'll share more later. And all this just means that whatever carbon data we produce, it's very accurate and very quick. And so Parse AI is one of our deep tech research that we recently unveiled that leverages on custom LLMs and Korean-specific data and shipping data. What this means is that we've optimized the way for big labor-intensive industries like shipping, like ports and terminals, to create new forms of carbon data from the workers on the ground. So think of all your workers who are doing various tasks like welding, like transportation, like getting fuel. All these are now able to capture through Parse AI and even on your mobile phones. And so simply what we tell workers is take out your mobile phones on KakaoChat and carbon data will be produced. And so Parse AI understands people and not just spreadsheets, which means that if you're a manager sitting on an ESG team or an operations team, you no longer have to deal with Excel files or emails. Let us handle all the work for you and you can focus on dealing with more important tasks. And what this means is that we have speed up the time for companies to meet compliance by over 12 times. And more time saved means more times closing more business and increasing the bottom line for companies. And so to date, we are trusted by many shipping companies and terminals. We started with over 200 shipping companies at the bottom, and we've closed some bigger shipping companies like HMM, Hanjin, and recently we closed the ports and terminals like Ulsan, Pusan, and all the major ports. And we hope that you'll be one of these leads helping Korea and all of us achieve our net zero ambitions. And we believe we're the team for you because we came from the industry. John and myself came from logistics and we understand how data flows in such big companies, small companies, and medium companies. And Dan Ha, our Korean CEO, is extremely familiar with the shipping industry and the logistics industry, being an alumni of KMOU. And so thank you for listening to our presentation. And we hope that together we can help you and Korea achieve our net zero ambitions and we'll love to have a chat with you to see how we can help you. Thank you.